The content and concepts presented within the book, The Messiah and the Secret of Israel, encompassing the profound exploration of the hidden significance of the tribe of Benjamin and its connection to the Messiah, are the exclusive intellectual property of L.S. Larkey and Atlantean Astrology, LLC. This work represents a unique synthesis of historical analysis, astrological interpretation, and theological insight, all meticulously developed and authored by L.S. Larkey. Any reproduction, distribution, or use of these materials without explicit permission from L.S. Larkey and Atlantean Astrology, LLC, is strictly prohibited. This proprietary knowledge reflects a significant contribution to the fields of biblical studies, astrology, and spiritual heritage, and it is protected under applicable intellectual property laws. The tribe of Benjamin played a crucial role in the history of Israel. Chapter 10, The Role of Benjamin in Israel's History, Part 1, The Messiah and the Secret of Israel. Introduction. The tribe of Benjamin played a crucial role in the history of Israel. Recent genetic studies on the high priests of Israel known as the Kohanim reveal a unique genetic lineage distinct from the tribe of Levi. Interestingly, some individuals with this high priest genetic marker do not share the genetic identity with Levi indicating that the Cohen marker can exist without the Levi marker. This discovery leads to a groundbreaking theory. Aaron and Moses had a Benjaminite father and a Levite mother, meaning they carried genetic markers from both tribes. This dual heritage explains the unique genetic markers found in modern Jewish priests, or Kohanim, suggesting that their distinct markers stem from this mixed tribal background. Those with both the High Priest genetic marker and Levi markers show this dual heritage, while those with only the Cohen marker without Levi markers are distinct from the line of Aaron and Moses and are from the tribe of Benjamin. This chapter explores the significant contributions of Benjamin's descendants, their strategic importance, and how their hidden divine favor and spiritual qualities shaped Israel's destiny. By examining the lives of key figures and pivotal events, we uncover the profound impact of Benjamin on Israel's past and its divine plan. Benjamin's descendants have left an indelible mark on the history of Israel. Their actions and leadership often revealed the hidden strength and divine favor that characterized their lineage. This section provides an overview of these key figures and their impact. Key Historical Figures from Benjamin Ehud, the Benjamite One Deliverer from Moabite oppression, Ehud, a judge of Israel, emerged as a heroic deliverer, freeing the nation from the oppressive rule of the Moabites. His cunning and bravery were instrumental in this liberation. Ehud's left-handedness, a distinctive trait among the Benjamites, was pivotal in his success enabling him to execute his daring plan with precision and stealth. 1. Divine Appointment by God Ehud's rise to leadership was not coincidental. It was a divine appointment orchestrated by God in response to the cries of the Israelites. This selection underscores the profound and unique relationship between the tribe of Benjamin and God. When the Israelites pleaded for deliverance, God appointed Ehud, symbolizing the Benjamites' role as the right hand of God, his chosen instruments on earth to execute his divine will. Biblical reference, Judges chapter 3, verses 15 to 30. Again the Israelites cried out to the Lord, and he gave them a deliverer. Ehud, a left-handed man, the son of Gera the Benjamite. 1. Strategic use of left-handedness. Ehud's left-handedness was not just a physical trait, but a strategic advantage. This allowed him to conceal a weapon on his right side, catching the Moabite King Eglon off guard and leading to a successful assassination. This act of liberation highlights the unique qualities and resourcefulness inherent in the Benjamites. God's choice of Ehud, a left-handed man, emphasizes the special purpose and distinctiveness of the Benjamites in his divine plan. Biblical reference Judges chapter 3 verses 15 to 30. Again the Israelites cried out to the Lord and he gave them a deliverer, Ehud a left-handed man, the son of Gera the Benjamite. Ehud's divine appointment and subsequent actions underscore the unique role of the Benjamites in Israel's history. 
Favored and chosen by God, they were his divine army, appointed to deliver and lead his people. The story of Ehud illustrates the profound impact of divine selection and the extraordinary capabilities bestowed upon the Benjamites to fulfill God's plan. This narrative emphasizes that the Benjamites, standing as the right hand of God, were essential in manifesting his will on earth, showcasing their significant and divinely orchestrated role in Israel's destiny. Up until the time of the first king, Israel was ruled by the Ten Commandments and the laws of Moses. However, Israel also always had a high priest to guide them. These high priests, descendants of Aaron, held a secret lineage that was both Benjaminite and Levite. This divine orchestration was hidden from Israel and the world. It was believed that Aaron and Moses were from the tribe of Levi, but this was only true on their mother's side. Their father was from the tribe of Benjamin. Understanding this larger picture reveals the profound truth of Moses and Aaron's heritage and their connection to Benjamin. When Israel desired an earthly king like other nations, the high priests, who were the political backbone of Israel, knew the king had to be from the tribe of Benjamin. The selection of Saul as the first king of Israel by the high priests was not just a political decision, but a revelation of the hidden truth about the tribe of Benjamin. Saul from the tribe of Benjamin was chosen to lead, highlighting the tribe's leadership potential and divine favor. This choice disclosed the significant role of the Benjamites in God's plan. Despite his eventual downfall, Saul's reign marked the transition from the period of the judges to the establishment of the monarchy, a critical phase in Israel's history. His selection and reign were pivotal in revealing the divine favor and leadership role of the tribe of Benjamin, setting the stage for future leaders and kings. 1 Samuel 9, 21 Saul answered, But am I not a Benjamite from the smallest tribe of Israel, and is not my clan the least of all the clans of the tribe of Benjamin? Why do you say such a thing to me? The appointment of Saul as Israel's first king by the high priests reveals the hidden truth about the tribe of Benjamin's crucial role. Up until this moment, the divine orchestration of Aaron and Moses' heritage as both Benjaminite and Levite was kept secret. The high priests, descendants of Aaron, who were also the political leaders, understood the importance of this lineage. Saul's selection as king was a strategic and divinely guided decision, underscoring the tribe of Benjamin's leadership potential and divine favor. This significant event marks the beginning of a new era in Israel's history and the revelation of the Benjamites' vital role in God's plan. Jonathan, the son of Saul, formed a deep covenant with David, the future king of Israel, this covenant is profoundly significant as it symbolizes the recognition and integration of Benjamin's divine role within the broader narrative of Israel's monarchy. Jonathan's declaration of love for David as he loved himself is a divine revelation indicating that he was spiritually aligning David with the tribe of Benjamin. By seeing David as he saw himself, Jonathan was essentially initiating David into the Benjamin lineage, thus bringing David into the divine plan and presence of God. When Jonathan took off his robe and gave it to David, along with his tunic, sword, bow and belt, he was performing a ceremonial act of making David a Benjamin. This symbolic gesture represented the transfer of Jonathan's own identity and divine favor to David, signifying David's induction into the tribe of Benjamin. It was as if Jonathan was giving a divine blessing to David and his descendants, a blessing that would eventually be realized in the reign of King Solomon. This act was not merely an exchange of clothing and weapons, but a profound spiritual and ceremonial process that integrated David into the Benjamite heritage and divine purpose. Jonathan's unwavering support and protection of David, despite his father Saul's opposition, demonstrate the spiritual insight and loyalty inherent in the Benjamites. This divine bond between Jonathan and David extends beyond space and time, holding true in the face of God. Even though Jonathan was killed before David became king, the covenant they made transcended earthly limitations, affirming the eternal connection and divine orchestration involving the tribe of Benjamin. 1 Samuel March 4, 18. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. 
Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt. The covenant between Jonathan and David is a divine revelation, highlighting the esoteric connections and illuminating ties to the tribe of Benjamin. Jonathan's ceremonial act of giving his robe and weapons to David was a significant ritual that symbolized the induction of David into the tribe of Benjamin. This sacred bond reveals that through Jonathan's love and covenant, David was spiritually inducted into the presence and favor of God, aligning him with the divine role of the Benjamites. It was as if Jonathan was bestowing a divine blessing upon David and his descendants, a blessing that would be fulfilled in the reign of King Solomon. This profound relationship underscores the hidden truths in the biblical narrative and the divine orchestration that has always tied the tribe of Benjamin to God's plan. The covenant's enduring nature emphasizes that divine connections and roles transcend mortal boundaries, reaffirming the eternal significance of these spiritual alliances in the unfolding narrative of Israel's history.